Friends, my name is Hannah and you're watching the Wishing Clock channel here on YouTube. Today I have for you a Goodwill Bins haul plus a few items that were given to me. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the given to me items. They're not crazy exciting, but they are items that will sell eventually. Um, I was sent a picture with a pile of shoes and I kind of had to guess, you know, and, and just say, yeah, I'll take those, those, and those. So here we have Steve Madden. These are the Nancy style. I think I've sold this pair, but not in a two-tone or something similar. Um, they'll probably only make me about $15. They are in pretty great condition though. So, um, I mean, free merchandise is free merchandise. You cannot complain about that. The next pair is probably the best pair and they are these Nike uh, Run Natural Free and Flexible 2016 shoes in the color Bright Mango. Um, these should sell and make me a profit of at least $20. They're in excellent condition. They do have one little small scuff on the toe that I just didn't even bother trying to clean because it is free merchandise. And again, that's the kind of stuff I just want to get quick out of my closet. The next pair, uh, when I saw the picture, I thought these were a closed toe. Um, so I might be doomed on these ones. I'm gonna, you know, keep them listed throughout the holiday season because they are a gorgeous champagne color, like new, um, four inch heel, and they're leather. So we'll see. Probably 10 to $15 profit on those. These will be $15 to $20 profit, just depending on the buyer. Um, all of these are a size seven and a half, except for the Nikes that are a size seven. Um, these are just really nice, strappy, almost a fisherman top with the espadrille and platform. So um, yeah, I mean, wrong season to have them, but they should do well when they do sell. Okay, ignore this pile. Um, in my world, there's delinted enough to list and then there's delinted enough to package. These are not delinted enough to package except for this top item. And I didn't feel like delinting yesterday, so. Um, bins items. Here we have some very, very, very cute uh, Joseph Sabel boots. And these are in a European 38, so I'm assuming a seven. But these are gorgeous. Uh, Joseph Sabelle is a comfort type of brand, so I think these will do really, really well. They're in like new condition, um, not really any signs of wear, so excited. Those should get me at least $20. I haven't looked at comps, but I will post them, um, so I, it's going to be like a guessing game with Hannah. <laughs> Here we have Third Love. This is a size 34F um, with their patent u back technology and their wide straps and a gorgeous cocoa color. Um, I'm assuming at least $15 on that. It's been a while since I've picked up Third Love. These are actually men's Lululemon joggers in a size medium and just a nice basic black. I don't think I've picked up this particular style. See with like the, the mesh contrast. So I'm curious to see how these do. I'm assuming I will get at least 25 because men's Lululemon does do a little bit better overall than women's right now because women's has kind of gotten saturated on the resale market. Here we have Peyton Jensen, new brand to me. I saw them made in the USA. I really liked the silky comfort fabric and the fact that it splits like this. I don't think these will sell for much more than $15 or $20, but they're very lightweight, they're flowy, and they kind of just fit with a lot of aesthetics right now. So we grabbed them. This is a bra brand that you should know, and it is NYX. This is a size four. They have their own sizing, takes a little bit of research, but these bras are very like sturdy, made to last. This one has the like rib stop um, adjustments to be made. And then a wide seamless band. That should be around $20 profit. I was so happy to find these. <laughs> um, redone, size 25, button fly. I don't think this style is gonna do all that great. Um, and the size, you know, is a smaller size, but I do think I will get at least $40 for them. 
I don't remember what the style is on these. Let's see if it says it. A note has got a style number and then the wash name is Faded Black and they're 98% cotton. So we'll see how these do, but these were <laughs> floating on a handful of stuff that was kind of just getting pushed over by people on a newer bin. And I was like, I'm just gonna check that last bin because I don't like being in the midst of the crowd because there's just not enough space and time to really dig through and check all of the items. Um, and that piece just kind of floated on over to me and I was very happy. Couldn't find any else though, bummer. Here we have the Curvy Road Tripper in a size 26. Excellent condition. Great style. Um, I think it's a nice, I like wearing the Curvy Road Tripper. I think that's why I pick it up so much. Here we have Lululemon and these I believe are Align Joggers. So I got the pocket and the cuff and they are like a cropped fit it looks like and they're size six i'm assuming at least 25 dollars for these they look like they're pretty clean overall they just really need a good delinting um but there's no actual like pilling between the legs or anything like that so hopefully i don't find any random holes or anything like that and we can get those to sell for top dollar this is just a basic Intimately Free People triangle lace bralette. Um, probably a $10 flip. Um, size extra small, so a little bit on the smaller size. Here we have Gymshark. I think this is the second time I've had this style, but no, I do not remember the style name. Uh, this should be a $10 to $12 flip, and most likely if I can get my computer fixed, it's got a cracked screen right now, which makes it impossible to read, so cross-listing hasn't happened. Um, if I can get it fixed, I'll list that on Mercari, and it'll probably sell their quickest. I might just list it there, period. We'll see. This is kind of a guess pick. I'm assuming I'll make at least $15 for it. It's Lauren Conrad in a size 4X, and my bag just dropped. New with tags, gorgeous dress. I really do like Lauren Conrad's stuff. I just wish the materials weren't so cheap and it wasn't from Kohl's. <laughs> I don't know what Kohl's does, but it just, it really negatively affects brands, so. And some of these styles by this brand are so cute. So, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I'm sure you'll see sooner because comps will be up here, but, you know. And grab my fallen bag. It's another pair of shoes. This is a short haul. These are Born Mary Janes, I think. Yes, Born Mary Janes in leather. Just a basic gray kind of retro shoe. Um, again, don't really look like they've been worn. So I'm hoping for at least $20 in profit off of these. Pretty good little basic haul. I wish I'd had more time, but you know, life happens. I have kids. Blah. <laughs> so thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoy and I hope to see you on the next one. Definitely hit subscribe if you are not already. I appreciate it so much. Bye.